Derek from Income Smasher. Today we're going to talk about content marketing. So content marketing for a blog or website is going to be very, very important. Like it is key because you're going to have to know, you know, how to set up your content and what kind of content you're going to produce for your website to beat your competition. If you can't beat your competition, you're not going to make any money. So stay tuned, check it out. We're going to go through some of the major things you need to look at when you're trying to determine what kind of content you're going to add to the site, you know, um, how to pick out the right content. And we're going to give you some examples of different places and show you different things on how other people do content. And then you need to really know what uh, the content is of your competitor so you can beat it. So let's get started. Okay. So the first thing you want to do is define the type of content you want on your site, right? So if you're like a boating site or a water sports site or whatever the site is, what's the content you're going to add, right? And what I would do is I would, especially if you're starting a new site, I would narrow it down to three or four main themes of the site. So let's say you're doing um, something like pontoon boating, which is a site I'm going to show you here in a minute. Okay. What I would do is I would narrow that down into five different areas that pontoon boats like that you would focus on, like pontoon covers, pontoon engines, uh, pontoon care and maintenance, pontoon, you know, whatever it is. So focus on eh, three to five of those. And then what you want to do is you want to create content around those five things. What that does is Google will look and they'll say, you know, as they're ranking your content or your post or whatever, they're going to say, oh, wow, look, he has like 15 articles on pontoon covers. You know, what's the best cover? Or what's the right cover um, for um, the winter? What's the right cover for, you know, just keeping it protected in the summer? What's the best one for UV protection? So they have, you know, all these different articles on covers, all these different articles on engine maintenance, all the different, you know, 5, 10, 15 articles on how to take care of your pontoon boat and keep it clean and, you know, lasting longer. And what that does is Google after six months, eight months, whatever, and your start starts really picking up, it knows that, hey, this thing, this site's all about pontoon boats, right? You're not going off about, um, hey, here's all these different things you can do in the water. You can, you know, pull a tube behind the pontoon boat, or you can go water skiing behind the pond. So you might have 30, 40 articles and they all talk about pontoon boats, but they talk about all these different subject matters and they're not concentrated into one, you know, three to five subject matter topics that are all related. And that really helps a website out. And people don't know that. They just start writing about all these different water things that pontoon boats can do. And it, it doesn't always help your ranking. So try to split into topics, the articles you're going to write, and then just focus on three to five for the first six months, get as many articles as you can, and then you can see which one really works well, run with that one, and then start writing some other topical content. So the next thing you want to do is uh, know your audience and what they want to know, right? So if you look here, we were just talking about pontoon boats, like pontoon Opedia. So look, they have tips and advice, um, how to, um, different things here, essentials, recommended gear. So basically you want to know what type of audience. So you know, this is somebody that likes obviously pontoon boats. This is a very narrow niche, right? Like this isn't a boat niche. This is a water sport niche. This is pontoon boats. So everything that deals with pontoon boats is going to be on this site. So they did a really good job on niching this down and they know that their customer is obviously people that like pontoon boats, buy pontoon boats and use pontoon boats. So you want to research the questions too. So the next thing you want to do is really understand what do people look for when they are looking for pontoon boats, right? What are the questions? Um, 
you know, are there questions on pontoon boat camping on, you know, boat hacks, you know, different questions you want to look up how to clean a boat canopy. You know, what's the difference between salt water and fresh water on your motors? See, these are questions that people are going to ask. And if you can give a really straightforward answer right at the beginning of your post and then go into more detail, you will just usually, you know, do really well against the competition. So you want to also go out and look at the competition and see what the other pontoon boat blogs are doing and how much they wrote. So if they wrote how to clean a boat canopy, they wrote a thousand word article and you wrote a 1700 word article, you're going to have a better chance of outranking them, especially if you write a really good one, right? That's the whole goal to beat your competition so you can get the number one spot in Google. So, you know, another thing you can do is look and, and go to Google and put in whatever your question is or put in words that you want to look, what kind of questions are out there that you can answer on your site, pontoon boats, right? So if you look here, um, you can go down and look here and it says how much is how much is a good pontoon boat? So how much would one cost? What is the best pontoon boat for the money? And what are the top five pontoon boats? So people always ask is a good one on Google to go check out just to see what other questions are out there. I have keywords everywhere downloaded. So they have some more keywords you might look at just to see if there's anything that helps you out. Um, now I will have in the description a bunch of these different links to these different things. So if you need to click on those links to check this stuff out, it'll all be there. You don't have to write this stuff down. So here's one, you know, here's another boat place, boat safe, and they have the 10 best pontoon boats for 2021. So they kind of review the, the best pontoon boats, how to buy them. This would be a competitor of pontoonopedia. And, um, so you can check out your competition, see how they write their posts, see what you need to do to beat them. Um, so basically, then the next thing you want to do is um, you need to be aware of creating content to cater to the search engine voice, right? So voice is becoming a big thing. A lot of people are getting on their voice and searching, you know, using a voice. So not really going to go into detail on how to do that, but you just need to be aware that that's more popular and you really need structured data mark, mark, mark up is really what you need, right? And so how does structured data support SEO? Um, Google Bin and other search engines and current webmasters use structured data, okay? I'll show you this article here. Um, and incentivize that usage by providing benefits to websites with structured data correctly implemented. Some of the benefits include rich search results, rich cards, and rich search results, knowledge graph. So there's a lot of things that you can gain advantage over your competition if you do a really good audit job at structuring your data, you know, for your SEO. So check out, you know, I'm not going to go into huge depth on structured data. You can go check it out and just see how you should be structuring your articles, your content, and how your content should be structured so that you can beat your competition, okay? Um, so the other thing you want to do is look at when you're putting your content together, you want to have pictures, you want to have a bunch of different things that help people out. So if you look at here on this website, um, on this post, trainedfightback.com, They've got, you know, here's a video on how to kick to the groin. And, you know, here's another picture that shows uh, some MMA fighters um, that leads to a different article. But, you know, you want rich pictures, you want video, you want people to be engaged with your article. So whatever you're going over, you know, try to add some video, try to go get some YouTube video or start making your own YouTube channel if you're you know, talking about pontoon boats and you have your own pontoon boat, go out on the weekends, you know, videotape yourself doing some of these different things you talk about, start your own YouTube channel and then start using those YouTube videos to put on your website. And yeah, it's pretty straightforward. So that's another great way to enhance your content and just 
beat up your competition because that's the goal, right? You want to be number one on Google, you have to go be above and beyond. You can't just throw something together, put it out there and hope you beat somebody. That's just not how it works anymore. Now here's another one if you really want to. So here's a post on the back end and WordPress uh, that we did. And if you look here, you know, we have Yoast SEO. So for your content, if you really wanted to do well in the search engines, you know, try to get these scores, these little happy faces. I got both these green, but even if they're both yellow or one yellow, one green, just try not to have them red. And as you can see here, the focus key phrase is learn kickboxing. And then down here, we have a slug and the meta description, right? So you put in the slug and the meta description. And then down here, it tells you what you have wrong, right? So on this one, um, I let them pull the meta description on this one, but it's it's a lot better if you put it in yourself. And then the key phrase was not in the subheading, so they dinged me for that one. And I could go back in and try to put that in, but I got two greens. I've got internal links, key phrase introduction, key phrase, key phrase length is good, density is good. So I've got all these green, couple red I can work on, but you know, don't get too new pick. Don't sit here and like, you know, spend half hour, hours, you know, trying to get all these green. Like, even if I have a couple yellow, I don't really worry about it. Um, I just do the best I can so Google knows exactly what my content's about so that I can get ranked. All right. So these are the key things you want to do, you know, make sure you, you know, put together a plan as far as the three or four or five different things subject matters that you're going to go after, write content in those different categories that really link to each other and go back to a main page or a main, you know, 300, 3000 word article that really explains whatever you're writing about. Make sure, you know, your content is beating your competition. So look at what your competition is doing. Make sure you answer people's questions. That's the key. You want to really answer their questions and then make sure you have rich content like you have video and you have pictures and you have something that breaks up all the text you don't want just a whole thing of text and people people just don't like that as you can see here um, uh, you know when you look back at, at what I was showing you we also broke up our text so I didn't have more than three to four sentences in each paragraph you don't want a paragraph that's seven eight ten twelve fifteen sentences long it's just hard to read. People aren't going to read that. You know, you got to have a lot of bullet points. You got to have your H2 and H3 heading tags. Um, and you got to really make it so people can scan, look for the information they want, read it, you know, check it out. And then, you know, they'll probably go, you know, somewhere else. But at least you're engaging them enough to stay on your page and you don't have a, a bad bounce rate. So that's how you really get your content good enough to beat your competition. Hit the like and subscribe and check out our description if you want any of the links to any of the sites I showed you.